Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Darren from Certified Legacy. I'm sorry if I sound sick. I have some sort of sickness going on right now. But today, I will be showing you how to fix the App Store finally on iOS 3 through 5. This is a brand new release. Released maybe like a day or t today. Day ago or today. So let's get straight into this. And we're going to start off with iOS 5.1x, which is the easiest. And the rest of that part will be a bit harder, which is uh 5.0x through uh, ios 3. so yeah let's get straight into this and before we continue with this i want to credit a couple people legacy ipad team on the legacy jailbreak discord server for alerting me about this and telling me to make a video on it thank you very much i also want to uh, credit uh you slash jmos8374 on reddit so starting off with iOS 5.1x, you will need to be jailbroken, of course, which you can do very easily with Gilbert Jailbreak, which you don't even need DFU mode to jailbreak this. So go ahead and head into Safari and put in this address right here, tlsroot.litten.ca slash. And I will also have this linked in the description, uh, which you'll probably need, which you'll need this. So next up is to get the iOS a uh, signed iOS bundle for iOS 5 plus, you just tap on this, hit install, install now, done. And then now you are ready to move on to Cydia, which in Cydia, you're going to want a couple repos. So <clears throat> the repos that you are going to need is you're going to need cydia.skyglow.es slash aka the skyglow city repo ipg city repo aka city.invoxyplaygames.uk slash by the way i'll have all of these in the description and then one that i currently do not have is um cydia.nekokawa.net slash and you're gonna add the source like you did with all the other ones and here item store x um from the cydia skyglow repo I already have it installed, but I don't have the two the version that you want, which is 2.5. So you either choose that or you choose from the AOI blog repo and grab App Store Fix. Um which App Store Fix um you will want not oh six basically. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with iTunes Store X from this repo because I kinda already have it installed. I'll use a different version basically. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do 2.5. I'm gonna do continue queuing. We're going to get Checkmate Store from IPG City Repo, which I already have installed actually. And then you are now going to get Store Login Fix from Nekokala.net or Nekokala's Repo. Yep, and then you hit Install, and now it will install both of the all of your stuff at once, basically. Re springboard, okay. And now go ahead and let's check if it works. And as you can see, it works. And you're gonna have to log in to your existing Apple account if you don't have that already. So I'm going to do that and I'll just show you how it works when you're installing Apple. And after um how this works actually is um you will put in your Apple ID and it'll say it's wrong on the first time. That's because you have a verification code. Um and you what you do basically is it'll pop up on your main device that has your iCloud on it, and you're going to attach that verification code to the end of your password. And now you can just install stuff freely, like usual, but we can give it a try with other stuff, because we can. So let's do like a Snapchat. I don't think I have Snapchat. And C search doesn't work really. You can see some other stuff on here though. Like what would be something that would probably still work on here? <laughs> let's try to figure that out. Let's go to like books. Man, these are all, I want something that's free. Would this work? And yep, there you go. You can see it installs like normal. And some of this stuff will not work. Like the application requires 6 out or 16 out or later or later. That's just because it's a too new app and Apple doesn't want you installing it on a normal thing. So now let's move on to the actual annoying hard part, which is 5.0 to 3. <laughs> So I'm gonna record this remaining part on iPhone OS 3, cause why not? This is the last supported version, but you can, it will work exactly the same for every other version. So what you're going to do is you're also gonna go to tlsroot.litten.ca, which is right here. 
and depending on if you are on iOS 5.0x, you're gonna pick side <coughs> signed iOS bundle, and if you are on uh, iOS 4 and below, you're gonna pick unsigned iOS bundle. Um, <coughs> I've already installed this, but I'll install it again just so I show you how it works. So you can see it pops up right here. Hit install. Re I'm gonna replace it because I already have it installed. Enter and hit done. Okay, and now that you've done that, you are now going to... <clears throat> so for the easy part, you're pretty much going to follow the same exact steps we just did on iOS 5. So you're going to go, and you're going to be jailbroken, of course. You're going to find Cydia. Head to your Sources tab, and you're going to add all of the same repos I showed earlier in VoxyPlayGames.uk, cydia.skyglow.es slash... And I'm going to use the same repos as earlier, so I'm gonna add the Nick Nikakao repo because I don't have it on this one. So Cydia dot dot net slash. And it's gonna do the same exact thing as well. By the way, this part we're not probably not going to use AIblog.jp as it will not even install on iOS 3. We're only going to be using iTunes Store X. So we're going to install all pretty much of the same stuff that we installed earlier. So we're gonna go to city at skyglow.es, aka the Skyglow City repo. We're going to add iTunes Store X, modify, downgrade 2.5. Continue queuing. Um, you're gonna go find Checkmate Store from Unboxy Play Games is repo. Find that from Unboxy Play Games is repo, which is right here. So you're gonna continue and you're gonna do modify, install, continue queuing. You're now going to go and then you're gonna go to the Nekokawa repo. You're gonna find store, log and fix, and you're gonna do confirm this time. So do that. Let it go through its install. And restart your springboard, of course. And before you try going into the app store and actually doing anything, you are not done yet. This will not work immediately because you have to go and use a Windows, Mac, or Linux and go on the back end of this and fix it. And we're going to have to connect it to um, our computer, one of whatever computer you have, basically. So yeah, let's do this. So, you're gonna go to your local C drive and head to Windows. Find System32. Find Drivers. Find ETC. And now that you know where it is, you're going to follow the same exact directories I just did, but you're gonna do it in the notepad. So I'm gonna pull up notepad. I'm gonna go file, open. I'm gonna find the same thing I just showed you. And then you should be good to go. Now let's move on to Mac. Now on Mac, you're going to put in sudo nano cedra os. So I'm putting in completely wrong. Put in your password. Okay, now you're in here. And now let's show you how to do it on Linux. And on Linux, you're relatively going to do the same exact thing. To Mac, you're going to do sudo nano etc slash host enter to ask your password. I forgot to show it, but you got to put that uh, extra slash on the end. Don't enter it yet. And then you're gonna put in your password and then you're in there, of course. Now the next parts may be different and be different on your device, but I'm going to be I'm showing this off on <coughs> Linux. So um, the general rule of thumb is where you're gonna put these next lines are, is to add the following lines at the bottom. But if you're unsure, of course, I will link a full on guide on how to edit host files properly for every single platform as I found a very good article on how to do this. So what I'm gonna do next is, now I'm going to put the following ones that you will need to put in on screen for every single one. And I'm just gonna drop them right here and I'm going to put them in also afterwards so you can see them. And here they also are afterwards on where I put them. So after you've done this, go ahead, hit Control and X to say save and I just say Y. And I'm gonna do it again just to show you. Control X, enter. And now it should technically be working. And if you wanna test that this didn't affect anything, which it shouldn't, just give your computer a restart and I'll do that. I'll just show you how that this doesn't affect anything. On boot, I'm talking about, by the way. And now you can see we're back on Linux and yours should be good to go. And um, yeah, that is pretty much that part. 
and now let's move on to the next part. So the next step is you're going to go to this site right here, mitmproxy.org, which I'll also have linked in the description. And you're going to go in here and you hit download. This should be available for Mac, Linux, and Windows. So just download it. I'm going to be uh, showcasing this on Linux, of course. So um, if you're on Mac or Linux, you can just go and click immediately right onto the file and you can find MitMWeb, which is what we are going to be using to start off. But if you're on Windows, you're gonna have to go to C, well, or where, wherever you install it, by the way, whatever drive, happen to be like a C drive or D drive or however you labeled it. And you go to program files, mit and proxy and then bin and then you'll find mit and web so you'll actually extract this of course i don't know why i didn't mention that so extract it yeah so extract it mit and web boom click on capture make sure run https proxy is enabled go to options hit edit options scroll down on edit options until you find tls version client min and just set it to tls1 and grab your device of course and now you're gonna go to settings go to wi-fi press the i button on your wi-fi or in my case an arrow and set http proxy to manual i'm not going to show you this because i'm gonna don't want to get docs of course and then enter your ip and port and then 8080. Now in Safari, go to mitm.it. Now that you have the proxy server up and running, you're now going to install the iOS certificate install. And now go test if the app store is working. And you can see it is kind of buggy and does not fully work still either way. What only slightly works is the top charts thing for some reason. And the whole reason why I find this fix not very practical mainly because um you have to have your computer on constantly if you do want the app store to actually function so like if i turn this off and i turn off the my computer it turns off the proxy server and then it no longer continues to work so that is probably the best you are going to get but unless you have a computer that you're going to keep on 24 seven and you're going to run this server on the back end, which I probably will not be doing that personally, um, you can use the app store like you would any other thing. So um, yeah, and if you want to try to sign in, um, let's give this a try. I have no idea if this will work, but we can try it anyway, why not? So I'm gonna try to do that. So I'm gonna use uh, existing Apple account and I'm just gonna try to put in my iCloud email to see if that does anything. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video and found at least part of this helpful, um please like, subscribe, and share. And also when you subscribe make sure to turn on notification bell so you're notified when I come up with brand new videos. Also, um, I'm sorry this might have taken a little bit longer than it's supposed to. I have some sort of sickness going on so I didn't get to finish it yesterday and have it out by uh, Thursday. Thursday or Friday. I don't even know if when I'll put this out. I might be on Saturday at this point. I have no idea. But also check out my social medias, which I'll also have linked in the description. And on the end card, I have a Reddit, I have a Twitter, and I have a second YouTube channel, which I will use for something at some point, whether it be behind the scenes or something else. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, this has been Derek for Certified Legacy, and I'll see you in the next video.